The project all started with this question, how do self-driving cars see the world? I'm Joey Lee. I'm standing or sitting next to a augmented virtual reality machine. And we at Movil Lab work together with uh, Meso Digital Interiors to build this thing. That's the exact hardware that you build into autonomous cars. This is the stuff that sits inside production autonomous cars now. It's a trust exercise. So I'm sliding in. Here we go. Actually, before you go fully in VR mode, I'm going to set you up with how the controller works. It's a bit disorienting. So you essentially are kind of put into the shoes of a self-driving car, and you have to navigate using this data. I feel like I'm drunk driving, to be honest with you. Oh, God, I'm blind. We want to build an experience that allows people to see just how differently sensors and computers are kind of seeing the world compared to humans. It says person, but then it says like uh, a percentage, which I assume is the um, likelihood that it's a person. So in some ways it's sort of tempting to test. I feel like I have no risk aversion. <laughs> This idea of empathizing with a computer, I think is actually really unique. And really empathizing with uh, autonomous systems or AIs, I feel like it's gonna be a big part of our future. Whoa. Oh, heads up. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. It seems like a simple problem, make this thing start and stop and move, but it's actually all the things, the decisions that we make as humans that will now have to be programmed into the vehicle. I had this subjective reality, or this reality presented to me through the machine, and I could only do with it what I could. The feeling I have here, it's like I'm, I'm flying. I have faith, a lot of faith in machines. Also the, the crazy imagination. But in the same way that the internet changed the world in ways that we could not have forecast, autonomous cars have the possibility to change how we structure our time, how we structure our businesses, how we um, engage in new cultural activities. I don't want to be a self-driving car. And when you can start to visualize these things, it becomes something that you can talk about. It's something that you can discuss um, and make decisions about.